Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to take a look at uh, histories of our entities. So tricks, categories and difficulties. We want to be able to see the histories of those. That will come towards the end of the video. At the beginning of the video, we're just going to sort out a bunch of small things that need sorting out. Okay, so uh, starting up, let's go to the trick uh, view model. Uh, I know some of you are running different setups, so feel free to look through these. I'm going to put a timestamps in the description for each one of these individual fixes. Feel free to adapt these to your applications, right? So first of all, we got this user projection and we got this projection. We want to remove one of these, okay? So first of all, this uh, projection uh, and this user projection, let's first of all take a look where this, uh, this um, projection is getting used. So for me, it's Alt U, find usages. And the only time we're using this projection right here is when we create or update uh, the trick, we send it out. Otherwise, we just reference it in the view models, right? So I didn't actually, let's remove this to do item and uh, we will just uh, remove whatever we return here, right? So we no longer have that reference. So I, I think I mentioned it's closer to the beginning of the series where like, I, I don't want to return anything. So let's just say action result here as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, what's going to happen now is uh, uh, we can just go ahead and remove this bit here. So this projection like that and the user projection let's just go ahead and call it projection okay uh, i think that will just be you know a little bit cleaner uh, next thing if we close this one and we go to the version migration context again uh, when i put this to do here i hope you've taken the initiative to actually go and do it yourself but let's go ahead and uh, do some of these so check if uh, the moderation item is null otherwise we can go ahead and throw a Argument exception right here with the name of moderation item. Uh, put a semicolon on the end and do the same checks here. So if we have uh, the moderation item null, go ahead and throw a new null reference exception. Name of uh, moderation item. And we'll do the same for our entity migration context. Right. And put it on the end here. Another bit that we didn't take care of is the category controller and the difficulty controller. So as we know, only moderators should be able to create update these. So we don't have any authentication on this bit. So that's what we want to add, right? Uh, what we're going to have is we're going to have authorize and then we have our tricking library constants where we have policies and we want the moderation policies, policy. Let's go ahead, copy this and let's put it on uh, the difficulty um, update and uh, create. And the same thing is going to go on the categories. So on the category create and update, make sure we have the import for the authorized filter filter. And that's it. Uh, the other bit, and this is probably one of the things that is going to be crashing in the category uh, view model. When we get the projections, what we want to do is we also want to put a where clause here and we want to say that we only want the active ones. OK, uh, let's copy this where clause here. We're going to go to the difficulty view model and we're going to add this here as well. Just make sure we got the spacing correct. And again, uh, for the back end fixes, this is pretty much it. Now on the front end fixes, first of all, what we're going to do is on the default page, we have this login button. So if we go and take a look at it, I'm already signed in here. So let me just sign out and refresh this. Uh, you can see the login button uh, looks crazy kind of thing. We didn't adjust it to look uh, to make the look and feel for mobile. So let's go ahead and just put this button here. This button, we're going to have the other class. So just grab that class to only display it on here. And we are going to make this icon uh, make sure we have the click and the icon itself. Let's go ahead and change it to uh, login. Let's copy this, put it here and remove the left. And that should look something like this. And if we go smaller, 
uh, it looks like that, right? And if we click on it, we can still go and sign it, right? Uh, now we are, uh, let's rename some stuff. Uh, there are a couple of stores. I think it's a good opportunity to finally take, try to take care of this once and for all content update. Let's name this content creation. I know we renamed it last time. We're going to rename it again. Just content creation, copy in the name, control shift H, rename all occurrences. We are going to look for, um, content update in single quotes these can be maybe regular quotes like that and uh, i mean make sure you look through occurrences make sure you find what you're looking for and we want to update that with cont content creation uh replace all and uh, yep and uh, not sure why this window opened get out of here uh right uh quick check you can always just give this a refresh and uh, see if you got uh, any errors if we have something like this like uh, content update, we can still look for content update where we look for a state and let's uh, see where let's give this another no, surely that's uh, wrong. Yeah. Okay. So after giving this another refresh, that's gone. Okay, cool. I was a little bit scared there for a second. It's an unprepared situation. Oh, whatever. Uh, the other bit is the tricks dot uh, JS. So in here, the tricks, let's rename it to library. Okay. So rename it again, control shift H. We're going to look for tricks and rename it to library. Now this one's going to be a little bit harder because there is a bunch of stuff in here. So again, just surround it in single quotes. And if that is giving you trouble, maybe double quotes, actually no wait, tricks. Uh, right. So we want to find a bunch of tricks anywhere where we don't want, um, we, we, we're basically hitting incorrect things. We can try to filter out by something like match case. And there's still going to be a few occurrences like this. So you might need to surround this with single quote at the beginning. Take a look at if you still have stuff like this. So single quote on the end with a comma. And uh, that looks like pretty much it. Let's go ahead and replace it with the appropriate uh, replacement, replace all, replace. Uh, one of the few things uh, that is uh, still going to be broken here if we go to the index one on the tricks here, we want to basically go to the library, right? So we, we, miss, we would miss this rename. Uh, and again, you can just give this a good refresh. If you still have problems, uh, go ahead and find out where uh, this is so cannot read proper property push of undefined. Uh, this problem was going to occur, I think, somewhere in here where in the set entities. Uh, so if we rename everything to the library on the set entities where we set the type to tricks, um, I'll just go ahead and put this back to tricks. So we're just putting this in a different thing. Now, we can also remove this if statement here and because of what we're going to do in the future, what I actually want to do is one of these lists, let's go ahead and initialize a new thing here. Okay. And the reason for that is we're going to implement the refreshing of the state as well once we update or create any content. Okay. But nevertheless, I think that should be it. Uh, front page should load and the front page is loading. That means more or less everything else is working fine because uh, if it represents the data, library of the data in, you know, in the memory. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is if we go to content creation, we have this editing property right here. I wanted to get rid of it. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and find usages for our active method, wherever we're using or setting edit. So just scroll through these here. You can see we set edit. Let's go ahead and remove that on the other one. We do not. Um, let's take a look at the rest. Uh, we don't set anything there in moderation. I think when we yep set this here in moderation, create overview and in difficulty overview as well. So just remove those from there. Once those are removed, we can remove this here, remove this edit if statement and editing as well. Just remove that as well. So this editing bit right here, we can try to find usages for that. Mainly the usages are in trick steps. So let's go ahead and open up uh, trick steps. And then here we're going to 
fix this up to remove uh, the editing clause. So first of all, we can just go ahead and remove this editing from content creation, close it, and let's work through trick steps. On here, we can control F to highlight all the usages. Uh, for the created, we can say if we have the edit payload, so really no need for this editing. Here, we're gonna employ the same tactic we had previously where we check the ID. Uh, the other occurrences, if we find them in the VF, again, uh, we can work off the edit payload. So just put the edit payload here, double exclamation mark. We already went over the syntax previously. And uh, yep, let's just put this here like this. And this should be pretty much it for this change. Uh, the other bit that I wanted to take care of is on the trick info card, when we display the info cards on our difficulty and category pages, I actually want to be able to click on one of those and navigate to that trick, right? So on the span that we have here, if we put a prop that says something like link or required uh, false, and we say type uh, uh, boolean and the default true, or actually let's do false, and we'll do something like uh, Next link, and we'll say again, we'll just provide the same trick name, and we'll say VF link, and the span will be VLs. On here, we'll put the two of, uh, let's say, trick, trick dot slug, and uh, the class we will uh, say something like white text and text deck. Operation uh, dash none. So obviously I looked up these classes before doing this. Uh, otherwise I would never be able to remember this class, right? Uh, other than that, if we now go to category and the trick list, if we go into here and the trick info card, let's go ahead and put the link on here. So if we go in here, we can now click on the title and that will take us there. If we try to click here, this is just the name, right? So that's pretty much how it works, right? If we go to difficulties, again, if we click on the forwards roll, it takes us to the trick. Now, uh, the other bit uh, has to do with the enum. Hopefully that breakpoint won't catch me out later because uh, I already closed the file. On the mod ID, where we have the tricks, categories, and difficulties, uh, let's go ahead and convert these to enums, right? So on data, let's go ahead and uh, get an enum in here again. Export const uh, moderation type s. I think um, that's appropriate. Uh, trick will be trick. Put a comma on here. Category. Category and difficulty, difficulty. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use these in the moderation ID. So actually, is this where we want it? I don't think this is where we want it. Let me remove the enum here and let me go into components because I just remembered where are we getting our, uh, what's it called, uh, moderation.js, uh, all of this stuff in here, right? So where we do our endpoint resolution, well, we can just put this stuff here as well. So let's just say trick, copy this a couple of times. Make sure we don't forget category, difficulty, and then the same thing we want to do on here. So just trick, category, so change category, and then change this to difficulty. So hopefully this change, you've taken the initiative and actually done this yourself. Uh, now, another thing that I've noticed is when we go to create the trick or rather, let's say, edit a trick, uh, editing is not defined. Let me just give this a quick refresh in case there's some leftover state. So editing, uh, we can still, we can edit the name again. So what I want to do is I want to basically disable that bit on the trick and the category. And for the difficulty, we're going to do something different to do with the versions, right? Because for the the way the categories and tricks works, uh, we kind of rely on the slug to build the pillar of the versions for the difficulties because there is really that singular relationship. We want to be able to sort of build up the pillar, but then change the name and go a different direction. Okay, so for that reason, 
Um, if, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, you 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 can do the you can do whatever changes you want yourself, right? But on the name here, we want to disable if we say something like edit payload. So if we have it, let's disable the name. And on the category form, do the same thing. Disabled if we have an edit payload, which we do have here. And on the category controller, when we go to update, let's just make sure that we don't override this. So category slug, we just grab this. And then category name, grab this, right? Uh, it's not too scary that if we still require the name and the description, uh, this is just like sort of a safety net, right? And the form should really pa be passing those e either way. So that is that change. And now uh, the last bit of this sort of refactoring stage is the reloading of content. The main points of where content changes is when we create either piece, so submission, trick, category or difficulty and when the review uh, changes. So uh, these are the primary four bits. The content that we have to refresh is the stuff in the library store and so the actual library data and the moderation items if you are on the moderation screen, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see how we can do this. On the content creation in the shared, where we have the form and where we have the close, on the form, what we can do is uh, something along the lines of methods, bring in or create a method that will say something like broadcast change. And uh, we'll do that. We'll do this. We can then bring in a map actions where we will grab from the library a fetch content or fetch tricks. I think we should really rename this. So fetch tricks, uh, let's rename this to fetch or load um, content. Uh, let's refactor this. Uh, I think it's might not be catching everything or at least not the, not the actual initial load. So yep, let's rename this, uh, close this uh, load content. Let's just quickly get our index store and make sure we call load content here, right? A load content because we're no longer fetching tricks and uh, th this thing shouldn't be here either but we'll take care of it later maybe. And the broadcast change what we want to do here is we want to go to our next context and we want to uh, emit an event. Uh, the event will be if we go into our data we can create a JavaScript event or let's call it events. Uh, export const events and uh, here we can say something like content um, updated and call this uh, give this a string content updated right so now we can use this uh, so let's go events dot content updated hopefully it's loaded in if not then yep grab it there so we emit this event now anywhere where we want to do the reload, we just subscribe to this event. One thing we have to unsubscribe from it as well, but uh, generally this is it. And we also want to uh, dispatch this load content, right? So we just make sure that we call this and we reload all the, the whole library as well. Okay. Um, now, yeah, now we actually have to consume this, right? So let's just make sure that we, in our content creation bits, whenever we go to save the form, we actually then go ahead and, uh, you know, um, refresh the data. So here we're doing awaits. So at the end, we can uh, go ahead and uh, broadcast change. Uh, and I think broadcast update will be a little bit better. Uh, broadcast update, uh, hopefully, I, I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up, but there you go, right? So broadcast update, uh, let's go ahead and um, maybe do this somewhere else as well. Uh, submission steps, uh, one thing to realize, yep, so we have the form in the form. So make sure that we inherit from the form mix in, right? Because this is where the function is. Uh, let's go ahead and when we save here as well, 
let's say broadcast change and we only want to do it when the submission is created so we just pass the function here so create submission uh, this is a promise so at the end it's going to return something although there is no return value when that promise completes completes uh, this is when this bit is going to get triggered next thing is the difficulty form so in here let's just make sure that we supply the form put a factory in here put the form that we want remove this form uh, make sure that we import it uh, close let's move to get the close from the same place as well uh, like the relative path is actually quite useful once we save uh, again we just want to wait on these uh, async format this a little bit uh, I'll grab this from the trick steps just kick it off here uh, and category form same thing is going to be happening all right so form um, put a factory uh, let's just put this here real quick remove the form make sure it's grabbing the import from the correct place I want to use the relative path so I'm actually going to grab the path from here and replace uh, this bit here All right and uh, yeah so make sure we await on these calls here make this async like that um do we need anything else I feel like that is it here so remember that when we broadcast the update we emit this event. So now anywhere where we need to refresh this, we emit it. Uh, before we forget, let's actually go to the mod ID. And when we submit our review, so when we create the review, uh, finally on the then right here, we can uh, do something along the lines of this. So same thing here. Let's grab this, put it here, and let's just make sure we call it as a function. So after this whole thing is finished, again, we just go ahead and broadcast this event that we submitted a review, best reload the content, okay? And this, is, this is, should be particularly true for moderation items. And uh, if we go on to, so yeah, so now uh, the important thing is to subscribe this on the index on the moderation. So for the moderation, we should have the moderation item feed. On the moderation item feed, what we're going to have is load content. Let's go into load content in the in the actual mixin. And then here, what we want to do is we want to reload content. Okay. Uh, the reload content is going to look something like this, right? Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure that we return this and this dot reload content. Uh, load content. Right, because this is a feed, we want to reset it. And uh, when this component gets created, uh, let's go ahead and um, this next um, on events content updated. We want to go this dot reload content. Right, so just trigger the, this function. Let's make sure that we grab this bit. And when this component is destroyed, so if we leave the route. What we want to do is we want to unsubscribe from this event. So otherwise, it's kind of like memory leak, dangling point, dangling function. So it's just somewhere there, and it just stays there. So every time this component gets created, you're just gonna have a buildup of uh, functions in your memory. So anytime that you subscribe from to an event in a component, make sure that you unsubscribe from it as well. Okay. Another tactic that you can employ if you don't want to use uh, the event bus uh, tactic, you can uh, put all your moderation items in a store and then trigger the reset from there, right? Uh, I sometimes prefer this, or although this is a fully viable option as well. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it uh, for the refactoring bits. Now we want to be able to see the history of items, okay? So first of all, let's go ahead and um, close everything. We will open up the tricks uh, controller. And we're gonna go real simple first because uh, this venue is going to be a little bit unexplored. In the tricks, let's go ahead and create a directory. We'll call it underscore trick. I rename the original page to index and just put it in there, right? So at the moment, it's as if nothing's changed, but now we will be able to put more stuff in here. Uh, make sure 
that your components or your imports are all starting with that for the relative path. Uh, the submission, uh, I, uh, the comment that was there is no longer important. We can remove the other bit as well. And uh, uh, the rest of this uh, looks all right, actually. The thing, the thing, man. Uh, <laughs> let's get a history page in here. We will just have a vlist, vlist item, and the vlist um, item tail, right? Uh, let's have some datum. And that's going to look something like this. Tricks, right? And then we fetch. And when we fetch, we return this. Axois. Axios. <laughs> uh, get. So we go to API. Tricks. Uh, we should have the this routes params trick from underscore tricks and then let's grab the history of it right uh, make sure that this is going to be working on the slug so when we go to this endpoint here if we copy it rename this to slug parameter to slug get history and um, where We'll say slug equals uh, slug and a string comparison, invariant, culture, ignore case. Uh, the rest of the stuff can stay. Um, we want to also, oh, didn't mean to jump all the way back here again, back to the get history. Let's return this. Uh, this can be an enumerable of object. Can remove a bunch of this stuff. And uh, first our default. Just to list this. Uh, what, a couple of things when implementing history that I've run into is for, a, for the, the most prominent one is this active bit. What's going to happen is we're going to have our entities in three uh, basically um, states. Our entity can either be live, so it's displayed everywhere. It can be staged, so it's something that we can migrate to, or it can be outdated. The history should only display live and outdated bits. The staged bit is the thing that we might migrate to. It's not long, not long. It's not yet history. Okay. So active doesn't really let us distinguish between the three states states. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove it and everywhere where it's, it's been used, we're going to change it appropriately. So in the models, let's go ahead and create an enum which we are going to call version state. In here, we can have live, we can have staged. So staged is something that we can migrate to, right, or go to. And uh, outdated is something that we've already left, right? So maybe something that we should be able to migrate to, but the ver version rollbacks is something that we're going to cover as well. So sit tight. Uh, anyway, version state on the version model. Let's go ahead and put version state. We'll just call it state. And we're just going to say staged by default. So whenever a version gets created by uh, at the beginning, it is staged. Okay, so that's just going to make everything, make everything a little bit easier. So let's go through this one by one on the data query. Here, when we query this stuff, uh, we want to make sure that this is live. So this is when we're only che checking that it's active. So if we query something by a slug, where ID or slug, I mean, it's live, whatever. Uh, in the version migration context, where is the error? So for the current, uh, we will be setting the state to uh, outdated. And for the target, we will be setting the state to uh, live. Okay. Uh, next errors are going to be in the API. I'm just going to jump through these. So in the category controller, we are going to be getting a state equals live. So we're only interested in live. Uh, I think we've been just, have we just, no, 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 never mind. Uh, the next thing is in the difficulty. Again, same thing. Tricks, 
when we get all of them, again, same thing. Let's just make sure that it's not deleted. Okay. And when we get the history, let's make sure we have slash history here. We have an end clause here that will basically say something like not staged. So that will get, get that will give us the two other options. Any other errors, mostly in the program CS where we have active. And let's just go ahead and uh, uh, what do we want to replace it with? Um, let's see, let's just fix up our thing that we want to assign it to. So state live, remove that bracket there. So state equals live. Yep. So if something's active, that's what we set it to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all occurrences of this here and because those are no longer valid and replace those. Uh, the, oh, that was probably not the best idea. Uh, let's actually come back here. Okay. Uh, because some of these uh, are relationships and they still have the active bit. So let's just make sure that we uh, am I selecting uh, uh, already selected a little bit too much okay no never mind I'm gonna stop stop dicking around with the uh, key binds okay there we go there we go there we go and right at the bottom there we go right just fix your program CS uh, end of story so just kind of, I'll, I'll close everything, but kind of to summarize it, we're just adding a version state to our version model, okay? Now, when we get the history, we get everything that's not staged. So everything that's outdated or alive, right? So we get a start to finish, but nothing that's yet, that is yet to come. And now this endpoint, if we go to history, this is something that we should load. And once this is loaded, we'll have tricks and this tricks, equals tricks, right? So we load them in CV4, trick and tricks, C key, trick history, trick ID. And let's just, if we need to pimp it out later, we can. This is just sort of a template. It's groundwork for if we need to pimp this out at all, right? Uh, we get this. Yep. Uh, that looks good to me on the trick info card at the bottom here. We can go ahead and put something like a knock. Actually, I will keep it. Uh, what's it called? I'll keep it hidden for now because I don't want to spend too much time developing the UI. Uh, I will keep this kind of in the background for us developers to use to kind of cover some concepts and learn some things. But for the production application, I might iron out, iron it out later. Okay. So we will navigate to it manually. So let's not go and put the link in there. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a refresh. If we go to something like, I don't know, a backflip and we go to slash history, uh, there, is not, uh, there is going to be nothing there. So I cannot read property get of undefined. Um, make sure you spell your, you know, your things correctly. I give this a refresh. Um, get of undefined, we, we talking about. Okay, never mind. Yeah, th there it is. So backflip. So now if we log in as moderator and we do something, oh, uh, do, 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 do. we edit a backflip. So let's just say edited. Next reason for change. Give it a good reason. Uh, this broadcast update is not a function. So this would be on the trick uh steps right there why is this not a function it is right there in the form is it uh, we, <laughs> we never actually use the form on here get them wire uh let's put it in here and let's put the factory in here as well no mistakes have been made uh right there Ushka. make sure we import it uh i do want it from a relative import like that close make sure we grab the correct close and there we go uh, yeah that looks fine as well uh, let's try this again edited uh, so this is going to be another version actually 
and yeah, let's update it. So that's fine. So if we go to the moderation, we should see two of these. Uh, let's go ahead and just change it. So slug of undefined. So this is on the trick info card. Uh, what is, uh, where are we using slug of undefined? Maybe something a little bit more descriptive. Uh, attribute small difficulty, difficulty slug. So we do not get the difficulty or something. At the top, uh, let's quickly see if we can see the moderation item. We cannot. Let's give this a refresh. If I cannot uh, figure this out, uh, let's try the other one. And the other one has the same problem. Go back here and uh, for where we use the slug, hopefully it's not one of these categories or tricks. Again, I feel like we've already been here. The error page is slightly annoying. Let's go to the moderation ID and in here we will, or maybe we will try to do this, right? We'll just comment out. Oh, what was that? Um, take out this V chip. If that's the problem, cool. If not, then okay. So that's the problem. Let's take a look at the items now. So mod ID, what is the trouble? So on the target, we have a difficulty of zero. On the current, we have difficulty of two. So we do not add this relationship when we update. So let, let's just quickly put the chip back. And on the tricks controller, let's go all the way down here where we look at the difficulties. Maybe that's something we haven't passed as part of the form. If that isn't there, then uh, let's just quickly take a look at this. So if we go to forwards roll and we edit this and uh, let's say we change this to medium, we do something like this. We go to the network tab and we send update. When we send this to the tricks API, let's see one of the methods should be post put, right? And difficulty is too. So that looks fine to me. Take a look at the moderation again. And when we edit the forwards roll, I'm assuming we still don't have it. So let's take a look in the moderation item controller where we bring in our flat right here. We don't actually have the difficulty, which I don't think should be a problem really because we should be getting the thing from the other endpoint. Uh, hold up. We get our thing from here. We have the full projection. The full projection has the difficulty, which is active unless we do not set the active relationship originally. No, we do have the medium. So this actually makes sense because when we get the full projection, we do not get the active difficulties because those those aren't active yet. Uh, I think is fine. Otherwise, the difficulty is going to point to multiple tricks. So that's fine. Let's take the active ones out of the full projection. And let's just make sure that using in get history and get. Yeah, so that's fine. So this should uh, fix our issue here. Apologies for the delay. Again, this episode is a little bit longer than it should be now. Again, let's go to the backflip. Let's give this an edit. Uh, let's say edited or something. Give this something like this. Moderation items, there's the change. And there we go. So if we approve it, right, there we go. And no link there. If we go to the backflip, uh, that should have been refreshed. Unless we don't really trigger the refresh on the review of uh, the content. So let's actually, so that's something that we missed out. So on the mod ID, uh, really not liking this content refresh solution, to be honest, but I haven't come up with anything better. So for now, uh, this is it. Let's get a map actions. Library, we'll import this, load content, make sure we put this into an array, make sure we can navigate to it, cool. And then we can say, oh, 
this load content. Okay, so and also trigger that thing. Yeah, this could, uh, 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 yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I'll think about it later as well. To see if we can improve this mechanism. But for now, uh, that should trigger the updates. Uh, backflip. Let's go ahead. Open up the backflip. If we take a look at the history of the backflip, we can see the two versions here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the other, the same things for the categories and stuff like that. Close all the windows. I appreciate this could be a little bit confusing again. Uh, let's go into the category. Same thing. Directory. Category. Rename this to index. Stick this in there. Open it up. Make sure the imports are relative. Like that remove the thing whatever that is we can copy the history and if you're brave you can rename this like this so trick category uh that was actually hold up let's rename this thing tricks is categories okay and trick category okay uh, now category controller, go to the tricks controller as well. Uh, we can copy the history endpoint category controller where we under where we have the get under there. Uh, let's uh, copy the query mostly uh, except of the to list. Let's put it here. Where slug and ID. Let's say where. Uh, deleted. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's just have state doesn't equal staged. Okay. Uh, slug. We will need to use utilize that as well. So slug equals slug invariant culture ignore case. And uh, this clause here. And uh, that should be it for the history here. Uh, again, let's just check this. It's good. To, well, actually, checking is uh, kind of cool. We also uncover any, you know, surprise errors or anything like that. Um, categories. Uh, let's. Uh, I don't know where we would need. We would need to go to mod password. Goddamn password. Let's my password secure. Okay. Kick. Uh, we don't. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We do some kind of update moderation. This works. Review, approve, approve, cool. We come back here. Uh, we didn't see the reload. Actually, no, the reload happened. It was just in the description here. Okay, so that was just a little bit hard to see. Now that we're here, let's go to history. And we should be able to see it there. Okay, cool. Uh, now for the difficulty. The difficulty is a little bit different. Uh, let's just scaffold the directories here. So directory difficulty. Let's rename this to index. Pop this in here. Uh, again, just remove all this crazy stuff. What the hell? Just add. Add. Make sure you got the imports. History. We can copy the history. On here. Uh, let's say tricks. Difficulties. And trick is difficulty. Um, same sort of spiel except for difficulty. The thing that we want to do here is again, I briefly mentioned it at the beginning, but uh, when because I'm allowing to change the name of the difficulty because of the nature of it, uh, what we want to do is if we change the slug, what should happen is we create a new difficulty and bump it to a new version. Okay, so once we change the name, that's a new difficulty and it starts from version one again. So let's go to the difficulty controller on the update where we have this new difficulty. Let's remove the version. And what we're going to do is we're going to say new difficulty version equals difficulty slug equals new uh, new difficulty slug we can again invariant culture ignore case 
if it is still the same because we're regenerating it every time uh, if they're equal difficulty version plus one it's the next version otherwise set it to version one it's the beginning now remember we have a bunch of logic to detect outdated stuff and uh, basically throw errors so let's go to the version migration context and let's say var outdated uh, version and that's the clause here so if outdated version I throw the exception but we also now want to say new version right so it's a new version if it's sort of well not sort of if it satisfies this condition again so equals and not equals so current slug equals uh target slug so if they're not equals that means we're migrating from some kind of stack of versions to a new stack right so at this point we want to say and not new version at that point uh, the version mismatch is fine and the way that we're going to detect out if something's outdated on the front end is through the active property so if we go to mod id when we detect out dated right here what we want to do right if we got both of them we no longer check the versions let's just double check that when we get our trick uh, view models on the full projection we also get the state so the states if we take a look at the the states outdated is two so let's just go ahead and copy this thing we are going to go into components where we have moderation and let's just put it here. So export const version state, set this to equals, this here, uh, take these, place the occurrences and there we go. Uh, let's just, uh, what was it? toggle case nope uh no wrong wrong thing i can't remember the key bind but live staged outdated okay uh now we can go ahead and compare these states as well so if we go back into mod id and if we say that the current one is outdated that means the version's out of sync okay so uh let's actually just say and this current state uh, live uh, what, what did we just call it uh, version state equals version state and outdated right let's make sure we import that so now let's go ahead and give this a refresh let's go to moderation and hopefully I didn't forget anything but let's go ahead, grab a medium. We will do something like this, create. And then we're going to do something like this, create. So if we go to moderation, you will see this one is new. This one is a change. So this one, we can review it. This one, we can review it as well. So let's go ahead and change this. We're going to approve it. So if we go back here, what should happen is we should see this medium E and it should still contain all the relevant tricks. However, if we go to moderation, this change, uh, it should be outdated. Why are you not outdated? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the view state at the moderation item. If we take a look at the current uh, version one, did we not just trick view models on the full projection, but the state which should be here and it isn't is it on the target maybe is one not here um where did we where do we use it um, tricks controller real quick where we were taking the get with the full projection i'm hoping we go here and uh, we, mm, these are actually just difficulties so let's go to the difficulty view models a lot of stuff to keep track of but we're working on many different bits and bobs so it's hard to keep track of it um 
Otherwise, yeah, real quickly, look in the difficulty controller. Which projection are we using? We are using this projection. Let's just make sure that we get the state here. Uh, let's go to the category controller. And uh, do we need to check the state there? I think we do as well. So let's just take a look at the uh, category projection. Yep. And let's just make sure that we get the state here as well. And that should be it. If we give this a refresh, and again, I think we can uh, go through the same motion here. So let's just go to moderation, difficulties, let's just edit a difficulty. It doesn't really matter. Get another one. Moderation, so this is a change request. We approve it, come back here. And is this outdated? Still not. A little slightly worrying, you know. There's not many times when I worry. This is one of those times when I'm like, oh dude, probably losing the plot a little bit. So why would the current one still be in the status one? So that is, uh, let's take a look at the version state again. So live is zero. Why would the current one be live? Unless that's the change. So, okay. so. We actually migrate that, so that is actually fine. Uh, let's, okay. So I'm just finding out how my application works. That is okay, guys. So let's go ahead and approve this. And if we go back into moderation. So that looks like it just changed the pointer again. I think this is fine. And uh, yeah, I think that's okay. So anyway, let's go take a look at the hard. We'll take uh, the history. This should set, have a separate history. Take a look at the console. What do we have? 404. So let's open up the application, a difficulty controller. Uh, obviously, I didn't put the endpoint on here. Let's go ahead and uh, category controller. Go to the category controller. Grab the history. Put it below somewhere here. We are going to go to difficulties. Select uh, difficulty view models and regular projection. And we to list that, so that's fine. So that should give us our stuff. Uh, let's go ahead back here again, make sure this refreshes. And there it is. Uh, let's quickly go to medium. We'll just look at history here. And uh, yep, so let's just quickly create a new moderation item. So if we go to medium, uh, do something like this and uh, Maybe something like this. So we will first approve the change. Wondering what that will do with the other one actually. So with the approved change, yeah, and let's approve this. So now if we go to this one, medium slash history, you can see it here. If we just take a look at the medium one, this will have its own history as well. So I'm quite confident it works as intended. I'm still going to think about how we do this uh, ver version migrations, but it looks all right to me for now. It's At least it's not breaking. Uh, this will be it for this episode. Sorry that it's quite a, a bit of a longer spectrum. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. Any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section. Ask them on my Discord server. Sign up to the stream squad. Join the live stream every Wednesdays and Sundays, 6 o'clock London time. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.